Today we're quickly going to have a look on how to do a firmware update on the Daystate Alpha Wolf or on the Daystate Delta Wolf. Now like with most of your electronic devices, sometimes you need to do a firmware update to keep that specific device up to date. And the same goes for these air rifles from Daystate. Daystate is constantly working on ways to improve these electronic air rifles for us. So again, it's just a good idea to keep it up to date from time to time. To do these updates, we're going to need a few things. First of all, it would be the D2D dongle. And this dongle you can only get from Daystate or your local Daystate dealer. So if you want to get your hands on one, please reach out to one of them. You're also going to need your USB cable that came with one of your rifles and obviously a laptop or a computer. So we can download those files and use the supplied software to transfer those files to your air rifle. Once you're on your computer or your laptop, I want you to go to the Daystate website and go to the Delta Wolf page. Just, this is just the easiest way to get to those downloadable files. Once you're on the Delta Wolf page, I just want you to scroll down ever so slightly and you will find Delta Wolf software update files. You're going to click on that and download that zip file. I want you to extract those files inside of that zip file to your folder of choice. I've already done that to save us some time. And the files will be your D2D dongle USB drivers. I want you to first install those drivers before attempting to connect everything up. It will just save you a ton of time. You will also find your uh, FAC files and your sub 12 foot pound um, files. These files we can use on either the Alpha Wolf or the Delta Wolf. There's not specific files for the Alpha Wolf and the Delta Wolf. They are built on the same platform, so we can use that. But if you have a FAC version, I want you to use the files for the FAC version alone and not the sub 12 foot pound. The same goes for the sub 12 foot pound air rifles as well. You will also find your day state control panel, uh, the software inside there. And this is basically what we are going to use. So after you've installed your drivers, which I've already done as well, you're going to open up your day state control panel. And now we have the day state control panel open. Now we can connect everything up. We're going to insert our D2D dongle on one side, plug our USB cable in and then into your rifle as well. And once you have done that, you'll see your air rifle will wake up. Come out. There we go. We are connected. So now to make sure that we are connected to the air rifle, we're going to head to the uh, top right side. There where it says serial port, we're going to click on that and then just choose your um, available ports there until that green light comes on. Right at the bottom left, you will also see that we are ready to rock and rumble. After doing this, we're going to go right on top onto devices and say read firmware version. Mine says here on the bottom left um, that mine is on version 1.3.4. And this is currently on the day of making this video, the latest and greatest firmware from Daystate. So your, yours might be different because obviously your air rifles um, firmware needs to be updated. After reading and making sure what your firmware is, you're going to go back to devices or device and say firmware update. Go to that specific folder where you have extracted all the files to and select your correct file. So mine is the FAC export version. And obviously we want to upload the latest one, which is the version 1.3.4 hex. The .hex files is the ones that we are going to use for the firmware update. So I'm going to select that and say open. It's going to give me a prompt just with warnings and things read through it and you can click OK. And now it's connecting up with the air rifle and it's starting to update the new firmware. So it's going to take a few moments, a few seconds to run through it, maybe a minute or so. And also, please do not disconnect anything from your air rifle or your laptop or computer, because this may damage your air rifle and you need to send it back to day state. And just like that, we are completed with the firmware update. 
we can now just click on close and just go out of the control panel from day state and you are ready to go out and shoot and enjoy your air rifle so basically that's how easy it is i hope you guys find this video informative if you like it please return for more thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers